Hi, I'm Nick Nanton, and welcome to the New Masters of Real Estate. Today, I've got an awesome guest for you. I've got Mr. Mike Reese. Mike, what's going on, man? How you doing, buddy? Great to have you, man. So I know you're doing some killer things uh, in the marketplace, so why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Well, right now, we're really helping home buyers buy in one of what I consider the best times to ever buy a home. And uh, we're really trying to just make sure we carry that market or that message throughout the market and make sure everybody understands the, the pros, the cons, and the benefits so that down the road, you know, they can really benefit w from, the, from their home purchase. Awesome. And so, obviously, I know you know this stuff cold because you're the co-founder of the National Association of Expert Advisors, right? And so you guys are doing some really unique things there. Can you talk a little bit about the unique things that you're doing in order to help these buyers? Well, really, our goal, Nick, is that no one's really educating the real estate agent. The traditional real estate agent is dying, and our goal is to, to really help them. And as a result, we've been able to, with me and my partner, Jay Kinder, um, really helping them understand the buying process. I think research shows right now that a home buying, someone buying a home actually pumps over $60,000 into our economy. And so us just doing our part to really help turn around this uh, economy is really going out there and reaching out to every individual agent and making sure that they're, that they're not a traditional agent. I heard an alarming statistic the other day, and it was that more than 50% of the real estate agents didn't even write an offer last year. Wow. And, and what's, what's really shocking is that you know, more than 80% of the home buyers do business with the first person they come into contact with, or even worse, sometimes even friends or family. And that's just, it's, it's, un, it's, it's unfortunate because really for years, this is how real estate's been practiced. I mean, the number one mismanaged variable in the home buying process is not even being, not even being considered by home buyers because really the, the mortgage lender makes more money based upon the interest rate and the, the, the real estate agent makes more the more the home buyer pays for the home. So at the end of the day, to really take advantage of this current opportunity, you want a certified home buying advisor, someone who's going to help you not only navigate the, the waters that you have to navigate when trying to buy a home. I mean, the fact is, is that most people, uh, Nick, they don't have a clear, comprehensive plan to buying. You know, they just literally randomly nail boards together. And so there's a lot of things that go into consideration, not only choosing a lender, um, choosing a loan, or even more importantly, a loan type. I mean, right now, if you look at what's happened in our economy, a lot of it has to do with the lenders, the loan types. And what's really, I, I watched a documentary the other day, and, and it was sad because I never saw any, any accountability or responsibility from the agent. But on, in all fairness, from my experience, and I have a unique opportunity of looking at you know, thousands of real estate agents' businesses, is they recommend the lender that the buyer uses. And unfortunately, buyers don't buy enough homes to really be experts. And so I really think we need to raise the bar. And that's why you know, becoming a certified home buying advisor was one of the best decisions that I think an agent can make and I can make to really carry that prestigious designation to show the homeowners, hey, listen, we're not just looking to, to, to get you in a home and go on to the next person. We're really trying to help you maximize this entire experience because ultimately the research shows is that real estate has been a great investment over time it's going to continue to be no matter what and and the the, the at the end of the day a person's net worth is going to be directly in, in, in correlation with them buying a piece of real estate through their lifetime and we got to make sure that they make the right decisions I love it. And I love what you guys are doing with the NAA. You're, you're kind of, you take the, the view that the, the tide rises all ships. And you're, you're coming in and you're helping the entire industry. And I think people are going to really see that. Now, what I love too is that, you know, a certified home buying uh, expert, I mean, they're not, they're not this guy who's, who's buying or selling seven homes a year. The average real estate agent, right, sells about seven homes a year, buys yeah. about seven homes yeah. a year. To that person, it's, it's nothing more, more than a hobby, really. And, and you don't want to trust your biggest asset in your life to a hobbyist. And also the fact that it's like for them, getting a buyer is kind of like, the jackpot for them like they're just excited they don't know what to do with themselves they don't have a proven systematic formula for going in and helping their buyer get the most out because quite frankly they're not even doing this very often oh absolutely you want an agent that's not only going to put their money where their mouth is you want to have them uh, they, they have to understand the economics what's going on in the economy they have to understand a lot of different things in fact just like when selling a home when you buy a home your your home's equity when you go to sell is elastic it's elastic to a lot of the variables that you manage on the front end you know i, I one of the most important things people to understand is they got to look at the home buying price uh, process as an investment because here's the you can't go to wall street and buy a stock for 50 cents on the dollar you can't go to wall street and buy a stock for 80 cents on the dollar but it is a it is it is 100 percent fact you can go buy a piece of real estate and then you can turn around and sell that piece of real estate and you can leverage a small 
20% down and get a hundred or five times return on your investment. And people don't really understand all of the different variables that impact the equity. And so your home's equity, I think, is really elastic to the advice you get from, do you buy down your interest rate? Um, you know, a lot of the times I see people lose their dream home and end up going with an emotional quick decision because they miss out on something because their, their agent doesn't even have good negotiation skills or quality. I mean, literally, you can, before you even start, you can go look at lists of vacant homes, um, which you're going to have a more, more motivated home seller. You can go out there and work with people whose day, houses have been um, on the market a long time. Uh, there's so many different things you can strategically put a, a process together and actually go out and not only buy the home but when you go to sell that home you can say not only that was the best investment you ever made but it was a house that you loved that's awesome Mike I know after hearing that information there's lots of people who are interested in buying homes who now know who they need to talk to they need to talk to a certified home buying advisor and I also know there's lots of agents who need to join the NAEA and become a certified home buying advisor so they can really help out their clients so if they want to learn more about that where do they go Mike yeah, knowledge is power, Nick, and, and we put together a really comprehensive guide for people looking to buy a, buy a home, and, and they can actually go get a copy of this guide. And I think, you know, knowledge will really empower people in this process, but it's um, our Expert Advisor Home Buying Guide, and they can go to expertbuyingadvisor.com to download that. And at the end of the day, they just have to really look at the home process as an investment. I know for personally, I mean, if it was a friend, my mother, my sister, my dad, the advice I would give to them is the same that I give to my clients. And you can buy the home of your dreams, and also it could be the best investment you ever made. And having someone who gives you the right advice with a structured plan, with the right specialized team and knowledge is where you start. So don't just go out there and just hire somebody because they're the first person that called you back. Um, if, if you're watching this video, then you, know, you can go there, download that guide, and you can find out the best places to search for homes, all of those things. And I think you know, if you download that document and read it, it's going to get you in the right direction. Again, I can't say it enough. Knowledge is power. You know, the, the guide's not only going to tell you that. I, I'm going to end with this, Nick. Most people, when they go online, they start looking even on the wrong sites. Most of the websites out there are showing homes that are active contingent, active option. Those are homes that are not even available anymore because the system only reads the word active. You want to look at a site and search for a site that's going to give you all the detailed photos, detailed descriptions, everything you need to know about the home, what schools it goes to. And, and, and that guide for this area is going to be the best place. It's going to point you in the right direction. So you make, make sure you download that guide if, if you're looking to buy for sure. Awesome, man. Thanks for joining us, Mike.